In this video, we'll go into what it's like to fling your holy power around as a paladin in Lost Ark. Paladins are an advanced class available to warriors that are considered a support focused on protecting and buffing their allies. This makes them extremely valuable in endgame content, but also more difficult as they try to time their skills properly to prevent damage. Most of the playstyle revolves around giving damage reduction buffs to nearby allies, whilst also increasing their damage output at the same time. Later, with your class engraving, you'll be able to grant damage buffs and a heal over time from your holy aura. Most of their abilities have good utility, and countering bosses is a key part of their kit. Paladins are the tankier of the supports, and will keep these buffs up for most of the time, but they do require better positioning than other classes, and they can't keep up with the bard's healing. Whilst they are a support, paladins can still use their skills to deal some good AoE damage, so clearing content yourself shouldn't be a problem. If you are looking for a support class that is tanky and will constantly buff your allies whilst dealing some decent damage, then the paladin is for you. When it comes to your other advanced warrior classes, the Berserker is focused on dealing damage and Gunlancer is more of your traditional tank. The Gunlancer does have access to some support skills but focuses more on disruption whilst being extremely tanky. Compared to the other support class the Bard, Paladins will be much tankier and focus a bit more on consistent uptime whilst maintaining damage buffs and damage reduction buffs to the team. The Bard on the other hand focuses more on burst damage buffs and healing, using their identity and can keep allies alive longer with shields and heals. So in PvE, like most classes, Paladins will build up their piety meter during combat, but have two choices when it's filled. Holy Aura is used for group play and will boost your team's damage, but also reduce damage and heal them once you have your class engraving. Sacred Executioner is your damage version. Attacks and punish skills now deal more damage and have a higher range. During normal gameplay, you'll be providing shields and damage reduction to your allies around you whilst rotating between different skills that give damage buffs. Whilst positioning is key for most of your skills, you'll also be applying debuffs and trying to counter boss attacks too. In PvP, Paladins are still a tanky support class, but they can output pretty big damage as well, especially if they use their Piety for Sacred Executioner instead of buffing their allies. Paladins excel at using their skills to follow up engages, but they can also be great engages themselves when Sacred Executioner is active. Otherwise, you do want to be a bit careful before you decide to dive in. Sacred Executioner is even better for this, as it extends the range. You'll often be able to catch enemies off guard with crowd control and set up kills easier. Your job is to protect allies, which you can do with a good timing of your skills, whilst also looking for an opportunity to CC enemies and dive in. Charge is your main mobility spell that deals some damage but also grants a shield with a common tripod. Using excellent mobility, shining protection and ambush attack are common starting points. Punish are your more damage skills. Executor's Sword is a combo skill that knocks targets up and deals damage in front of you. Taking Stigmata, Challenger's Will and Broad Slash will make this more of an AoE damage skill. Holy Sword deals burst damage in front of you, but more importantly this is your mid-range counter with many ticks which you want to use whenever your targets light up. The most common tripods are Positioning, Outburst of Light and Release Light. Execution of Justice is another common skill you'll use a lot that spins and deals damage. Rune Prison pulls enemies in and with Acuteness plus Express Fury you'll deal much more damage playing alone. Holy Skills are skills that tend to also buff in some way. Holy Protection is one of your main defense skills that gives a shield to all allies around you. Quick Pace, Robust Protection and Vow of Light gives movement speed and improves the shield but also heals at the end, even if now it has a higher cooldown. God Sent Law summons a circle of light and deals damage but with the right tripods it becomes much more supportive. Shield, well, it gives you a shield. Wide Angle Attack improves the radius and finally Grace reduces incoming damage by 70% for one second. Grace is extremely strong but does require really good timing to make proper use of it. Heavenly Blessings unlocks at level 50 and deals damage to nearby enemies whilst also blessing nearby allies to reduce damage taken. Faith instantly gives 50% piety meter when used, Valor gives more attack power and Heavenly Requiem makes it pack a real punch. As with all classes, the Paladin has access to two awakening abilities. Alathane's Judgment unleashes a holy light at the target location that deals damage and creates a barrier based on your maximum health for allies. Alathane's Light deals damage in front of you and then explodes again to deal even more damage. Judgment is the preferred skill for almost every single build option. Every Lost Ark class has access to engravings that will focus your playstyle in one particular direction. For Paladins, you will choose between Blessed Aura and Judgment. Blessed Aura is the core of any supportive Paladin build. It adds damage reduction and healing to your Piety Holy Aura. Once at level 3, you get a considerable amount of damage reduction and healing, making this a core choice for keeping your allies alive. This will be your go-to raiding playstyle and a big boost to your team when activated. When used with a coordinated group or when you know the fight and have a window to burst the boss, this can be even more powerful. The easiest stats for this build is to prioritise swiftness and specialisation afterwards. This will allow you to rotate your skills and buffs in a much more frequent manner, as well as build your meter faster and make the aura more effective. Judgment is your DPS choice, increasing your punish skills damage, the piety meter gained from those skills and increasing the duration of your sacred executioner. This offers a huge boost to your damage but pales in comparison to blessed aura for supports. During solo play this will help you take down bosses much quicker with your holy sword, however in group play it cannot make up for the damage boost. 
Focus on swiftness and crit if you want lower cooldowns, better attack speed and bigger bursts to clear content faster. Remember to head on over to Mobilitix for all of your Lost Ark needs. 